Is this what you're doing because your father is out? You said something very powerful. You were at a um, Prestonwood church, and you said something very powerful. You said that the country is in trouble, and it's the pastor's. Yeah, yes. It's the pastor's fault. You said if the sheep end up in a ditch, nobody blames the sheep. They blame the shepherd. Right. So 54 million Christians didn't vote last time around. Mm -hmm. 54 million Christians. Yep. Is this what you're doing? You're waking the churches up? Absolutely, yes. A and here's a simple thought experiment. So imagine in 2016, only 44 million Christians stay home. Now, if that happens, we have done a horrible job. I mean, what a miserable failure if, you, if 44 million stay home. But if an extra 10 million evangelical Christians show up on election day, we will not be up at 2 or 3 in the morning wondering what happened in Ohio or Florida. They'll call the election at 8.37 p.m. That's the difference. You were in front of the Capitol. Mm -hmm. There should have been 30,000 pastors yes, yes. that were standing for Israel. Where are they? Look, it is a very good question, and we need an awakening, and we need it to start with the pastors. You know, as, as you know, my dad's got a book coming out that you've very kindly written the foreword to, where he talks about, it's called A Time for Action, he talks about pastors. And in fact, the Black Robe Regiment, which you know very well, our mutual friend David Barton has written and, and spoken all over the country about how it was the pastors that led and helped lead the Revolutionary War in this country. You see this happening? I now. see it happening more and more. I see more and more pastors waking up and being energized. 